Yo, what's good people, what's good? Welcome back to another episode of Chopiness. <laughs> you know it go? Well, this week headline Seem to be the topic on everyone's lip It seems Mr. Vegas is making it quite clear that there is no love between himself and Drake, Amari, Popcorn and Red Rat in his new music video The Brockdown artist took jabs at the social media queen Amari who claimed that the two shared a romantic relationship in her Facebook live stream However, Vegas made it clear that she's not my type in his new music video where he used a woman with similar features to play the part of Gullibop ex-girlfriend Mr. Vegas went on to berate his rival and everybody that he has a beef with in the dancehall especially Popcorn with whom he has an ongoing beef ever since Vegas came out calling Drake a fake and after leaving Poppy off his album the music video started out with a scene depicting a meeting held at Fame FM to ban Mr. Vegas which included characters playing Red Rat and Fame FM employees Janice Young and Frank White Justice right? They were in fact talks to ban Mr. Vegas on the airway after he criticized Favor Fan reporter Janice Young for asking, asking him about relationship with Amari who Mr. Vegas de described as being mad. Anyway, number two on the list today is a dancehall artist called Landmine. Landmine is known for the piercings on his face and he was recently in an accident where he was flung from a motorbike which he was traveling on as a passenger the singer was admitted to the hospital for five days but was released yesterday Extensive testing was done which included scanning off his brain for signs of swelling. He is due to be back in the hospital for further tests in the coming weeks. The accident occurred in July in the vicinity of Greendale, Spanish Town, St. Catherine. The rider of the motorcycle swerved with him to avoid a collision which sent Landmine flying off the bike. He landed, hit his head, and acquired a few cuts and bruises. The artist was featured in the news earlier this year for his 56 piercing, which he had on his face. Wow. While attempting to travel to Antigua for a show, Landmine set off the metal detector which forced the airline officials to turn him back. Anyway, the dancehall artist is now at home recovering and we wish him a speedy recovery and hope he finish with a fuckery. Him and his friend them need for done the fuckery. Look upon them. Hmm? What am I turning the thing in that man? Anyway, this week, number three is Being a Man. Being a Man had to cancel his OVO appearance because um, he caught the chicken gunya um, virus. Drake was putting on a show and he invited. Popcorn, Bean Man, Snoop Dogg, Wiz Khalifa, and other Jamaicans to come and perform. But Bean Man had to pull the plug 
he caught the virus suddenly. The dancehall star took to his Instagram page to let his fans know that he has contracted the Zika virus, a dangerous dengue related virus that spread primarily through mosquitoes, causing fever, rashes, and joint pain. The virus, the chick V virus, can also be spread sexually and is known to cause birth defects in pregnant women, which has caused a health emergency last year. Currently, there is no vaccine for the Zika, so you know it go. Beanman was due to play the t in the Toronto Festival last week alongside Trinidad Marshall Montano but tweeted out a photo of himself in hospital surrounded by nurses. He wrote, Jano, the week you deal with me wicked. No There's no cure for, for it. No anyway, Canada they've been show. doing blood tests on Beanie the Man and all that, so all um, the fans. We want to wish Beanie Man a speedy recovery and hope that he uh, get well soon. Moving on, number four. The streets are talking. And guess what? They're talking about the marker hard hitting new single with Five So, Carter. um, Alkaline and Movada has been throwing shots at the marker. So, the marker has gone and did a diss track towards Alkaline. And Movada, which is called Wasa Dead to Me. Dancehall selectors all over the world has been dropping the song this week, and it has been causing a massive stare. First, in the intro appears to mock Movada in toning about Run the Place. You see them off a runway. Then the marker DJs, she had them a fall, so ball for timber. Pussy, I want you start, I want you sing for. The chorus, we In run the, the world. He pay homage to Vibes Cartel with a world boss like flow. When he spit menacingly, me no take this dog, I no see the drive. Rifle in a five when you see me a drive. When casket are close and a tree Levi's. Ray Charles, me not see them. The Ooh, streets them have responded guys. well and are back in the market. Defend the world boss name. On YouTube, one person commented. A long time the marker a big up. Another Addy. one said big up the marker. The man said that's a long time. So you know that girl the war continues, ladies and gentlemen. I believe that this is gonna be um you know leading up to Sting and that's what happens every year. Another artist takes shots at another artist and then it just happened to play out itself at Sting. I wish them all the best and I wish that they can find some peace and love and deal with the thing differently, you see? Anyway, we're moving on. Busy Signal. So Busy Signal was at some fest on the reggae night. The dancer star delivered a well-received set that was overshadowed at the end when he tossed the mic and stormed off the stage. After performing hits like reggae music again, one more night, night shift, now I go to jail again, wine upon the edge, busy signal told the media that he was almost out of time to perform and it seems he didn't take that too well. Every year I do this, Signal said while on stage. Don't show me no watch and don't tell me not, but no time. 
It's a good performance and the people them love what's going on. If corporate Jamaica didn't Organizers like me, I would deal with your wicked. Did a good but job have of too much the to lose. Going. The DJ then sing two with lines of his next acts single before tossing the mic and exiting departure. the stage. Acts like Luciano, Taurus Riley, Supercat and Sanchez. So you know that go. The place nice and everything alright. But there's a signal at some point and very soon I believe you should apologize. Because you know, as a big artist, you set some good set examples, examples, especially coming out because them, um, the media um, world is just so open right now and anybody can watch that and the kids them you know, you want them to learn something positive from you instead of the negative. So, at some point, there's a signal. I would like, I'm urging you, I'm asking you to apologize. See? Right. So, Elephant Man is the latest dancehall artist to get back his visa. The dancehall DJ was among a slew of artists who had their work permit revoked a few years back back due to various issues such as the homosexual lyrics and legal troubles. Since then, several of them had made amends with the US Embassy in Kingston and had their visa reinstated. Uh, artists such as Sizzler Kalanji, Bean Man and many many more, Bunty Killer. Elephant Man posted a video on his Instagram page yesterday showing off his new passport while hinting that he will be going to the US to tour. He then said, There is no one like God. There is no one like God. Elephant Man, big up yourself and congratulations again, yeah? Make sure you do right this time. Make we move on. Well, another dancehall artist called Dario is denying claims he has been beaten up by his friends uh, on the river. This year I wanna leave the country. Rumors are circulating around social media, and there is a picture to accompany it. So, uh, people are saying he went to the beach with some guy or a whole heap of man and they turned around and they beat him up. Well, his publicist has made a statement and she said um, Dario was indeed the person in the photo, but the claims are rubbish. We were made aware that the, that the attack no, we, we were made aware that several online sources have published stories that recording artist Dario was attacked and photo of him surfaced online. We would like to advise um, you guys and girls that the photo was indeed Dario, but it was taken on the set of a music video for his latest single called Just For Living. And while many, including Dario's mom, has um, been worried, uh, Taylor assured fans and well-wishers that the school fee DJ is safe and sound. Dario is not hurt. He's okay. Several persons took photos on set and shared them, and this is what's causing the rumor, she said. So, um... In my opinion, it's a publicity stunt that went wrong and, you know, as, as we all know, these guys are just doing like loads of stupid stuff these days to get heard, but, you know, go, we never hear the artist. So, Gullibop ex-girlfriend Chin Chin is now beefing with Spice. Yes, my child. Spice made some remarks that she's the best 
female dancehall artist ever. Right? So Chin Chin, aka Miss Chin, um, has made a diss track towards Spice. According to Chin Chin, Spice was one of the only three female books for Spreggy Some Fest. Yet she did not share the glory with any other female unlike the male DJs. As a result, Chin Chin said she was inspired to pen Couldn't Walk Where when she realized with spice I deal with I don't think it's cool for her to act like she's the only female dancehall artist that is good and the others are not good she didn't bring up any artists with her at some fest but at the same time look how much artists the male brought on stage and females were already scarce, Chin Chin said. She could have brought up Rain Seville or any other trying female artist. Spice should remember when she was a trying artist. And she better don't act like <laughs> she don't know me at all about. And she better stop act like she's the only female in dancehall. Although Spice is known for her face, the lyrics and strong stage present, she refused to comment on the situation. Chin Chin said if Jay Capri was never dead and Lady Star had to go into the church, yeah, uh, Spice wouldn't be where she is. And for the record, I'm not trying to hype or get the hype off her because I have my own hype, Chin Chin said. I'm not afraid of her either. Don't take my cute face simple because she can't bully me. Despite these fairy words, Chin Chin made it clear that a physical altercation is not in her character. Uh, she licked. It's not in her character. However, all I'm saying is that she should have do better as a female female artist and stop rubbing her success in the faces of others. Humble yourself, Spice. You don't have a Grammy like Lady Sar. And look, she was never hype like you. When the star contacted Spice, Spice declined to comment on the matter, stating that she did she don't know Chin Chin and she's now in a new relationship and she left her longtime boyfriend and baby father, Nicholas Lal. Yo, if my laugh, my drop them dead right there, so God believe me. Wanna see what I go on? Wanna see the fuck who I turn up? <laughs> hey. So, anyway, we can move on swiftly. Next topic is Aishana. Yes, my darling. Aishana has left down some records. Then, Aishana has stepped forward to deny having an intimate relationship with her former dance on boss, Joe. Since the news of her split from the record label last month, there has been rumours that the fallout was a result of her. But speaking with Entertainment Report last week, the dance hall diva said, uh, that their relationship was strictly business. Strictly business it was, she said. I am an asset to dance sound, not a liability. You're not going to see no fight. There's never going to be a fight. At the end of the day, I have to do what make me happy and 
take my career to the next level. Aishana also said that she was unhappy about the handling of her career under Downsound Management, which prompted her decision to cut ties with Joe. At the end of the day, he wasn't doing the things that he was supposed to do. And that's that. So ladies and gentlemen, more I have a comment, like and share the video yeah? and make sure say you keep it real. Another thing I want to do is send me some information because I love information you know. See? And the next video I'm going to do, I'm going to make Uno choose what I'm going to talk about. See? So anyway, have a good day, have a good night wherever you are in the world. Boom! When it come to my darkness, but that's not my reality. It's my truth of a theory. And all them sell out to Betty. We surely live to regret it. How they just ease in the man when the man always has his own plan. Them a vulture, one so called the life of my culture. Them a vulture, one so called the life of my culture. My culture. They can never be the flower, never be the fruit. Don't have the power, don't have the roots. Never be the flower, never be the fruit. You don't have the power, cause you don't have the roots. And them I give thanks and praise, but can't give what's owed to we. And them I imitate African ways, but will never exalt our feet. How can we really trust it? When them not stop, make profit. They never reparate we Keep the money in them family They say it's a new season But you see for some reason We can't shake the feeling Cause we know what they're dealing Them a vulture One so called the life of my culture Them a vulture One so called the within them a run down for you men a lean parasite pan man and woman them one breed for the seed of lion them a vulture one so called the life of my culture them a vulture one so called the life of my culture my culture they can never be the flower never be the fruit don't have the power, don't have the roots. Never be the flower, never be the fruit. You don't have the power, cause you don't have the roots. Never.